In today's Drinking With Danger, we get our berries on with Schwartz's Strawberry Shorts Cake. And go. Yeah. Strawberry Shorts Cake. Golden Ale brewed with fresh strawberries and milk sugar. Strawberry Shorts Cake is a golden ale brewed with the addition of strawberries and milk sugar. The flavors of shortcake and fresh strawberries transform this beer into a rose-colored party nectar that is pleasantly sweet with hints of cream. Biscuit flavors and aromas arise from the use of large amounts of victory malt. It's 4.6% and it's got 15 IBUs. doesn't say any of that on the bottle, otherwise I wouldn't be reading off of... Yeah, the bottle just yeah. says golden ale brewed with fresh strawberries and milk sugar. So. No percentage. Yeah, there's no percentage. So Government warning. So we got that. Don't drink it when you're pregnant and don't drink and drive. Well, at least it says what, what city they're in. What city are they in? Elk Rapids. Okay. I haven't been to Shorts, actually. I've heard they've had a really good... Um, <coughs> So it says milk sugar. Is milk sugar lactose? Yep. At least that's what we call it in the store. It smells Sorry, like you lactose intolerant? Just with like alcohol and ice cream. But yeah. I'm good with this amount. I'll be fine. I'll look out below. Right? <laughs> that's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. It smells well, like a strawberry shortcake. I can smell the cream. I can smell the strawberries big time. And strawberry is a hard flavor to work with because yeah. it's so delicate and most of the time you got to get rid of all those seeds on the outside, which makes it not a berry. That's true. Yeah. So that's lie number one. Isn't a banana a berry? It might be actually. I don't like remember. A banana is a berry. There's something with something weird like that where a strawberry is not a berry, but there's other there's other fruit that we don't think is a berry but is. Alright. Hold on. I'm gonna try this now. I'm not a fan. I it's, mean Yeah, it's uh definitely tastes like a shortcake. It tastes exactly like what it's gonna say it's gonna taste like. So if you like sweet and you want to have a dessert beer? This would be a great dessert beer. You know what this would go great with? What? Strawberry shortcake. Just like, yeah, a bunch of strawberries. You can make a glaze out of it. Oh. Soak the strawberries in it. You see, that'd Use be that good. Thick. Yeah, you could, it'd be a good replacement in a lot of the cooking with it. But, you, you know, low temperature stuff so you don't ruin the flavor. But then there's also people, weirdos out there, who aren't like us, who like sweet beer and are like that's what I want this is what I want to taste strawberry shortcake in a glass and that's what you get so I mean it's not a bad beer it's not something I would drink yeah so, I wouldn't I wouldn't order this but, but if it wasn't a flight it'd be an interesting flavor component to get through because it's there there you taste the strawberries you taste the cream oh yeah I know, but the way they were talking about the victory malts, though, I was expecting more of a bready flavor. I was kind of expecting a lot of malts it's as well. It's a bit there, but you know, I the don't, yeast I, used, I think, is hop forward, so yeah. it put the malt on the back burner. I mean, really, there's not even a lot of hops either. It's very well. It tastes exactly like... It doesn't taste like it has hops or malts or anything. It just tastes like strawberry shortcake in glass. Yeah, it's got just like a little bit of the hue of strawberry in there. Not a really red, but it's got a red tinge to it's it. It's the party. What they say was the color of the party or something. I don't remember. They said something on. Oh, my, it was that's on right. Didn't say it on the bottle. Yeah, it was on my phone. I'm not gonna point that out again. I do like that it's called strawberry shorts cake. I didn't even notice. Like shorts, bird. That's pretty funny. That's why we have her do the reading. I know how to read. I told you to quit showing off. He's the smart one. This is... <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it was good, but, you know, I wouldn't order it. So, I... definitely try it, but share it with somebody. I think that... So, working at a brewery and seeing this from a perspective of, like, what people come in and order on a regular basis, I could see people coming in and ordering this specifically, coming to a brewery for this beer. Because they're like, okay, 
I don't like beer. It doesn't really taste like beer. It tastes like a dessert. So there are people, like a lot of like ladies and gentlemen, no, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like people beer. People who just don't like it. They say don't, they don't, don't like, like any beer. beer and I'm like, just give, me, just give me beer. two seconds and I'm just going to come back with like three things from you and I'm going to change your mind real quick. And I always do. And I think this would be one of those beers that would get people who say they don't like beer to like beer. Especially if they're like planning on drinking a cider or something sweet anyway. You might as well like go all out. I'd recommend it for sure for somebody like that. Cool. Yeah, all in all, a good beer. Yeah. Good beer. I don't. I'm not the biggest. I mean, I slammed it, but that's what I do. So. All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. All in all, an interesting beer. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see more Drinking With Danger. Oh, yeah, we'll just stop and you can use it as a voiceover thing. No. Shorts? Shorts? Wait, hold on. <laughs>